Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, Long War of the Chosen I should say. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Legendary Iron Man playthrough. It's time to extract a couple of advent supplies. I've done a bit of a, a mistake here. This one is a... Seize the advent resource. No, I did not do a mistake. Okay, so seize the advent resource cage. I thought uh, was one of those missions uh, that uh, allows you to get corpses. Let me double check. All right. So in case you're unfamiliar with uh, the Long War Wiki, is a great starting point. And here you do have loot. Uh, yes, which essentially means these mission types give you corpses. So liberation mission for troop maneuvers, which is uh, them. <clears throat> uh, coming back into your area supply rate line uh, line rate uh, which is not what we're doing secure ufo invasion which is a defense mission uh, then assault an alien base which is the final part of the liberation mission and finally advent facility psygate so what we are currently seeing is a seize the advent uh, mm, support crates which you will find down here supply line rate no it is it a supply line rate seize advent um, advent supplies which mission type which mission type is smash and grab so that's a guerrilla ops that we're currently doing and uh, smash and grab as you can see here has no corpses good so just wanted to bring this up uh, just in case you're wondering where i'm getting the info from uh I haven't played long war uh, in a while so i need to have a little bit of a cheat sheet uh, for the missions the reason why i'm saying this is corpses are quite valuable and give you supplies and what we're going to do is the moment that we do have a mission that actually gives corpses I want to enter it under infiltrated and try to kill as many enemies as possible. This, however, is not needed today. Today we're going in with uh, Sam Syn Synops War uh, Walker, Ataxia, Renvin and Aviator Bra uh, to do this mission. And uh, there are a couple or uh, there's a side trip for a couple of extra supplies. So let's try to get those. All right. Advent forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area, and we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders, and Firebrand will handle the rest. Not sure if we're going to see a lot of uh, losts here, but the mission type is smash and grab is a bit more difficult than the vanilla XCOM more of the chosen now. one. Essentially, we will need to decide when we want to exit to and until such time Good to go. we are Solid copy. basically trying to get as many of the crates as possible. One of the things that is a problem with um, getting the crates is the marking mechanism in Normal War of the Chosen is typically there is a very high chance as in <clears throat> almost 100% that you're going to mark crates which are very near to your position no such thing in long war at least when I played the last time it was almost random trying to get uh, to use this nice little high ground location here all right Hearing the first enemy. So the plan is I want to kill one pack, if possible, stay within cover with uh, within concealment with our shinobi. And we got a nice little side trap here, which essentially allows us to whenever we're critting someone, uh, which requires us to uh, flank him or where we benefit strongly from flanking them. Whenever we crit someone, uh, we can get Combat Rush. Combat Rush is super good. Everybody else in near proximity basically gets excited 
and has a higher crit and hit chance. Up here is another good position. This is not bad, but it would be cooler if the crate would be here. Well, Affirmative. it's not Christmas yet. Let's set a realistic target. I think a realistic target for us could be anywhere between four and five crates. And then we're out of here. And good news is we already got two at our fingertips. Affirmative, moving out. Roger that. We already got two at our fingertips, um, maybe a third one, which is really not bad. Four and five over there, which we could fight towards. There's another high ground option here, but not very helpful for this alleyway, believe it or not, because you wouldn't be able to see some high ground here, but it's a bit wonky with the line of sight as well. Not seeing any enemies so far. Of course, naturally the greed picks up, as in we could get a lot of crates. Oh wow! Ooh wow! I tell you what, we're going to <coughs> shift over here. Renvin will get those two crates. And I'll take another one over here. Running. And then we're just going to hunker down and protect the area. That would be one, two, three, four, five. That would not be bad. Roger, I've got my eyes on. I'm on it. Okay, that would not be bad at all. Good copy. Moving on target. Good, nothing up here. that we're not finding something. Okay, next turn is go time. Got it covered. On Overwatch. Got it covered. Let's hope we're not finding someone. Oh, they are far away. I have eyes on the enemy. Enemy sighted. changes things a little bit. Roger that. Let's try to lose that one pack. Will do. Moving to Overwatch. Scanning. Moving to Overwatch. <coughs> They're coming closer and not moving further away. Unfortunately, they position themselves so nicely out of line of sight. Other pack is here, careful, Saiken. Moving. 
goes closer uh, to the target. That way we can move to here and then maybe even engage. Plan of six crates without retaliation is not going to work. There we go. Classical spot out. That hasn't changed. The engine is still very much aware of your position and is cheating in their favor. So, yeah. This should not trigger. One, being greedy here, two, this could trigger, we're going to find out. Three, very good, uh, we could go to here, pick this one up. Can't get those two. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace One Five. It's clear. Get the loot because that's important as well. I got your stuff here. Uh, I'm going. Okay, I'll go. I guess that'll be okay. Tired of waiting around. I can handle that. Overwatch. Scanning. Okay, we also need to plan our evac because reinforcements are on the way. Advent just airlifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. Fabulous. He can do that without even triggering. Great. Grandiose, as they say. So, first things first. This is our evac. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. All right, I'll go. Oh, that was important. Advanced conditioning is good. No problem, boss. 
Let's kill the sentry first. Good, this should be a kill. You want some more? I've been burning ammo fast. What's up? Need to get that crate. We're at five, which is great. If you say so. Even got a sixth one out. Are we going to risk it? We know there's another pack here. Mm, I don't like it. I'm going. Let's see if this triggers. It does not, but it doesn't mean that there is a pack back there. Locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. Nice. An Elarium core, really good loot this time. Taxia. Comes up clutch and moves up there. Brandon reloads. Overwatch with uh, Synapse. Not going to move away too far from our evac location. We're almost out of time. And not only did we exceed, but we far exceeded the target, but seven crates, which is really good. There is an eighth one and a ninth one. We do have enough to move back. Now, nah, you know what? Uh, there's a fine line between greedy and just asking for trouble. And I don't want to be asking for trouble. <clears throat> here I come. Moves to here, almost gets out. Opens the door, we're reloading, <coughs> and we're being good. Okay, I'll go. Synapse moves to here. I hope it's worth it. We'll move to there. I don't mind the supply crates. Of course, you can always do better, right? So, yes. Um, we could have gone for eight crates. But the point is, we already had seven crates, three items of loot, and we are completely unharmed so far. So why roll the dice? Why? Reinforcements, we need to overcome them. And then we need to get out of here. I'm going. I guess that'll be okay. Let's move already. Whatever you say. Good. Reinforcements can never take a shot immediately. Which is why we can't stay in the open.
Those guys, however, can take a shot immediately. Not good. Got a promotion out of that. No problem, boss. Evac confirmed. Ready. And we're out. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Yeah, not bad. Not bad for a starter. The last pack wasn't even close, so we could have gotten two more uh, crates, but you never know, right? Nice. Renvin is big, fat infantry. I like that. Synapse gets a level up. So, Gunner. Gunner is an interesting class, and there is quite a bit that you can do with Gunners. Let's uh, take a look what his special abilities are. Field Medic, not good. Uh, that is good. And this one is fantastic. That one is great as well. That one is great. Really good. Um, and that one is good as well. So, looks uh, to me like a gunner that shouldn't be focusing on Overwatch but on real shots. So the first one is really well done, Lance Corporal, because all of them are good. Grazing attacks is fantastic for Overwatch because you can uh, always hit the enemy and therefore trigger also fear and other abilities. So if this would be an Overwatch build, I would uh, go for it. And AoE Overwatch is good. I personally like combative, uh, not only because of the dodge, which uh, increases your survivability, but the parry attack is absolutely ginormous against Stun Lancers and against Chrysalids and against every melee character actually, even against uh, the Hunter, which I think, uh, against the Assassin, which I think Katana will not uh, go through the parry. That's the only way of blocking it. So there is a very strong case for it. Of course, one additional point of damage with Santa Mars is great as well. So if you just want to deal damage, uh, then uh, you go to the saw uh, to the saw gunner. My point is, with him in particular, we're going to see a lot of extra damage on crits and extra aggression. So he wants to flank, which will bring him into positions where I think the combativeness uh, or combative is the right choice. Uh, we're going to go with more defensive builds than you have, would have potentially seen in other playthroughs. And I know um, Alpha Strike is the name of the game for many, but I will prove that um, the, a good defense wins you championships, a good offense wins you a single game. Good. For uh, the Shinobi, we could either go with Ghost Walker, which is great because uh, it reduces the detection radius, and that's really not bad for varying um, situations where uh, you couldn't scout around the corner or go to a tile that you otherwise couldn't go to and therefore have line of sight. That's not bad. Um, however, I personally like uh, the melee route and essentially I, I talked to, about it a bit earlier in the playthrough. My concern or my gripe uh, with Shinobis, even if they become um, even if they become officers later and get a lot of officer abilities is that you always feel like there is like one damage dealer missing and with the blade master out specifically with reaper and so on they actually become quite uh, quite good 
So I personally like them um, and I really like the melee route, which is why we're going Blade Master. Aviator Bro. What are we going to do with you? You're going to be a technician. Well, that's fine. I don't mind that. And look at that. We got 60 supplies. It's fantastic. That is enormous. Uh, got a little bit Elarium Alloys and um, and Elarium Crystals, Alien Alloys and Elarium Crystals, and we got extra conditioning. Good. Good. Very good. So, Aviator, you just need to go uh, with the color coding, my dude, because you're class uh, is great go ahead and uh, then I think we got a another ranger good for you Ranvin appreciate it you're getting the good old navy blue wow he looks good okay so, first mission done, let's jump right into the next ones. Uh, we got uh, nearly need to start with the A-team on the next one. There you go, must start, that is for a scientist. Uh, I think that's the second mission for the Liberation Chain on, um, on this particular uh, map, so uh, on this particular region. So we're doing well. All right. So reinforcements will be coming at some point. We are not concealed with the exception of the Shinobi. And guess who is going to scout out for us? Damn right. It's El Shinobius. <laughs> Uh, concealment for a fantastic kill of an entire pack. I don't need to spend concealment. See you later, alligator. The aliens will never learn. They do not understand petrol stations. Good that some things do not change. Even in long war. Okay. <laughs> well, that was an amusing start. Solid copy. On it. That was an amusing start. Made me snicker. Uh, we'll keep you further back. Don't want a random shot to kill you. And we're going to trigger, right? Right? Enemy squad located. Uncle Nuber triggered that. Unfortunate. Okay, let's remove um, Overwatch. Decent damage. I want the gunner down first. <clears throat> Luckily, we do have walk fire, which at least secures us a kill. Let's try that Envin Gunner. Alright, and the officer needs to die. You want some more? Advent data pad, fantastic. Good. Two packs already down.
Johnny moves up. Gets more PCSs. I like that. And we need to get to there. All right, I'll go. So naturally. Naturally, we're going to move and take our VIP with us. Overwatch, Overwatch. We have free reloads? No. Which means reload. Took too many shots. Good, we can't re stealth. Fortunately, no such uh, thing on lower ranks. We can get a ghost grenade later, but that is not within our means yet. This would be too aggressive because it opens up that entire region. We'll take this way out, uh, which means Shinobi is carefully advancing. It is clear. Moving to full cover. Moving to designated position. And we got a nice little front to back. Let's do this. Um, position here. Overwatch. On Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Might be flanked from here, so we gotta be a bit careful. Nobi continues to move. What's over there? Ten four. Uh, that is too dangerous. It'll it could spot something out. No I want the high ground nonetheless. Anyone sneaking around upstairs? Answer is no. And we're going to use that to our advantage. On the move. I'm on it. Got it. And we'll bring all the good guys up here. We're of course open for a grenade, but I have not seen a grenade as a reaction when being triggered. Here I come. Scouting out. Reinforcements almost uh, there. I'm going. On it. Grenadier moves in. And next turn, we're out of here. Looks like the skies are clear. Easy. Easy. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. There was maybe one more uh, pack. Well, there was one more pack around because seven to nine, and we killed uh, two packs. Another success beyond all expectations. I'm continually impressed, Commander. Emergency life support. Very nice. Good. As for our main team, can't PCS them yet. Can we PCS anyone? No. No, we cannot. Good. Given that we have a couple of supplies, a hundred, 
And that's not good enough for GTS yet, right? 150. We'll build uh, two times AP rounds. Good, Vigilance 4. Force rating 2. And Advent Strength is 2 in this area. So we can continue to have an advisor scientist that would reduce our research though uh, that would reduce our research I think we can could afford since we now do have two scientists we can afford putting one scientist here uh, I reread uh, the Haven management and uh, scientists are the ones that increase into plus they now put in a 24 hours cooldown so if I was to change <coughs> anything here that would uh, in, that would uh, create a cooldown um, so they wouldn't be effective with with what they're doing for 24 hours we got two four six eight that's good with Intel and Haven Advisor. We should scout out all of the missions well in advance. And we're going there and on top of that are scanning. That's helpful. Comet Armor, Nanoscale Rounds, Tracer, Hazmat's Vests, uh, one of my favorite uh, vests in Long War. So that's good. Laser weapons uh, cost us more Illyrium crystals, which we currently don't have. So that's unfortunate. Okay, I think uh, we're splitting the Illyrium core to get eight Illyrium crystals and that will help us then to uh, to go for the laser weapon research, which I want to do. Laser weapons, good weapons. All right, as you can see, we now have missions with six days uh, in advance, which is great. This will give us more intel. More intel means we can expand further and recover an item from a train. Um, is the third mission on the liberation uh, of the region so we're really doing well uh, so far now what I want to do with that is since we do have six days is I want to get uh, the A-team in and unfortunately part of our no 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 wait a second Wait a second. Uh, assign soldiers. Infiltrating, infiltrating, infiltrating. Oh, 85 is currently wounded. That makes sense. So we got Shinobi, uh, Sharpshooter, Grenadier, Ranger. And our remaining squad uh, mates are currently doing something else. Um, which really means we might fill up with a couple of rookies. Or one rookie actually. Good. I'll do that real quick. Okay, so we're putting the prime team in. The recovery from an advent train missions are uh, giving no corpses, so uh, that's fine. We're continuing to scan here because I want to know all of the dirty little secrets and missions. I like experimental weapons, but I like laser weapons even more. I want to double check something so if in this haven management we're putting in another scientist 
Does that impact our research time? Oh yeah, it does. Oh yeah, it does. So... No, no. Okay. Wrong button. Which means, for now, I rather prefer faster research. But we'll we'll get uh, scientists. As we get more scientists, we will uh, put Haven advisors in. With two scientists, we're down to eleven days. That's three days, and that is more valuable than the missions. We got some. We got some bonus here with uh, local scanning. That always provides some bonus, and yeah, I think we can smash and grab. What is the squad looking like? Okay, well, this will be an interesting one. Uh, we're going to do exactly that mission. All right, let's sh uh, let's go. I just figured we're over the half um, hour, so I will cut it uh, short here, and we're going to restart in the next episode with exactly that mission. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the content, leave a comment and a like down below, and see you in the next episode. Let's go, boys.